Hello and welcome to an experienced episode of the Drywall Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Harmon. With us today, Jason Marshall of Jams Drywall out of Louisville, Kentucky. He's only 29, but don't let his age fool you. He's come up quick in the industry and has a knack for being successful. There was a time when he maybe even hired somebody to show him how to run the tools. And I had just bought my first set of tools, which was uh, North Star tools. I bought them from uh, Tony Ferguson, the guy okay. Great Lake Taping Tools or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I bought them from him, and uh, I had no idea how to use them. So I bring in Eric. And uh, he's like, man, what do you want me to do? He's like, it's only going to take one guy like two hours to coat this whole house. And I'm like, well, that's fine. Like, you just stand there and tell me how to do it. And I'm going to pay you by the hour. And, you know, you just let me do it. Shut up. You paid him to train you. (laughs) Yeah. He was like, he was like, why would I want to do that, man? Because then you won't, uh, you won't need me anymore. I was like, well, I'm always going to need help, you know. Jason is a fantastic guy, and I'm sure you guys will feel the same after listening to this episode. This month's episodes are brought to you by Can Am Tools. Can Am Tools has been a supporter of the Drywall Podcast for a long time, and I appreciate them for that. Can Am Tools is also celebrating 50 years of excellence as the original and leading inventor of the semi automatic drywall finishing tool. Their line of tools is centered around the compound tube, one of the most versatile tools on the market. Now, for the months of March and April, you have a chance to get your hands on these amazing tools at a discounted price. If you go to canamtools.com, Enter promo code TDP15. That will happen. Also, be sure to be on the lookout for my interview with company president Wolfgang Dombrowski, episode 44 of the Drywall Podcast. The Drywall Podcast is also shamelessly sponsored by Fresco Harmony, making walls better since 2004. Now available at CSR in-store and online. Guests of the Drywall Podcast will receive a sweet swag bucket from CSR filled with all kinds of wonderful things like a Fresco Harmony sample pack, a three-way, a spy sponge, a tech dry tool, shirts, and much more. But for now, episode 47 of the Drywall Podcast with Jason Marshall of Jams Drywall. Let's get into it. Yeah, man. It's cold today. <laughs> I got like a high of 50 today. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jams Drywall. We have Jason Marshall out of Louisville. <laughs> I figured you'd be practicing that. Louisville. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, And yeah, he's 29. So in the younger range of interviewees that we've had on the Drywall Podcast, welcome to the show, Jason. What's up, man? Thank you. Thank you. Drywall Drywall Magazine. Yeah. Do you follow the, do you, do you follow Drywall Magazine? I don't think so, man. You don't go on that group? No, I don't think so. David Lee? I try not to get in all the groups. There's so many of them. There's so many. Which groups do you uh which groups do you get get on? Uh mainly just the drywallers worldwide, drywall junkies. Okay. And then I actually run the remodelers worldwide. I didn't know that. That's yeah. a big one, right? Yeah, it's got we've got over ten thousand members. That's a bunch. So, yeah. Okay. Drywallers worldwide. Yeah, actually, it was uh, Joe Cleveland, the one that created Drywallers worldwide. Right. He created Remodelers worldwide, and then uh, 
kind of let me take over at like 150 members because he was too busy with the drywallers page. So he let me take over the remodel page. Okay. And yeah. Now, now we have over 10,000 members. It's, it's a lot to keep up with. Yeah. How so? Just a lot of requests come in and, you know, you had to weed out the bad people, the negative people and, Wait a second. Like Wait a second. You have negative people on uh, on your group. <laughs> I don't oh, understand. Yeah. Not, not Why? nearly as bad. Not nearly as bad as drywall junkies, but but yeah. sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah uh, I was not. just editing the Kevin Bush. We discuss. He got a little perturbed on that uh, drywall junkies page. Um, myself as well. Uh, I had early on, I had to get off of there. It was too much. Like, it was just like, these guys are dicks. Like I got to go somewhere else. This is like too much. Yeah. I don't click on the comment section. I just kind of scroll and see the picture and I stay away from the comments, you know? But, uh, in, 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 we had Kyle on the show, uh, Catling who, uh, runs drywall junkies and great guy. Um, yeah. you know, we talk about it a little bit. We talk about it, you know, it's uh part of it is like, well, we're drywallers, man. You know, we talk trash. You yeah. know, there there's sort of a there's a balance there too, but uh yeah, you know, um it's yeah, challenging. The guy, that, the guy that taught me how to run tools, I actually found him on the drywall junkie page. He was from the same same place I am and we ended up linking up and he's actually the one that taught me how to run boxes and bazookas and everything. Fascinating. So you were, yeah, nine years. I mean, Kyle. Yeah. So that page probably precedes your b being in business even. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. That, do that doesn't like occur to my old uh, gen X or brain because like, you know, <laughs> right. Like, you know, I was around before, before, you know, any groups, Facebook, any of that, like, you know, like there wasn't uh social media. Um, yeah, so it's a lot easier nowadays that you have social media to, I mean, as you know, like the sales and advertising your product, like it's gotta be way easier now than it would have been 15, 20 years ago, trying to get people to learn about Fresco Harmony. Well, now you got the internet, so now you can promote it on the internet, you know? Yeah, absolutely. With a little footwork and um, and certainly the podcast has helped. But, uh, but like, yeah. We've noticed, We I was just talking to my sales rep yesterday about it. Like, people don't ask friends and neighbors for referrals anymore. They just get straight on Google or Facebook and, and ask for recommendations. Like, for anybody oh. looking for a problem person, they don't, they don't really ask friends and neighbors anymore now it's no. they go right to the internet no the better business bureaus probably on the downwards uh tip yeah. i i, I yeah. would say these days you know i've never bought anything from the better business bureau um did, did, no no they bug you but i was like okay you know like like <laughs> so, so i can put a sticker on my car you know right <laughs> um yeah yeah so yeah you're right that's a, that's an interesting aspect if i want to find a plumber or uh i i just recently found an accountant a very fantastic bookkeeper um from facebook i was like hey i need a bookkeeper like please like you know i lost my bookkeeper right. i need a book and she's fantastic man couple people chimed in done yeah exactly you don't even ask other people for recommendations anymore you just get straight online so yeah and i probably three or four like people that were like you know hey hey i'll do it you know i'm a i'm a bookkeeper or you know or somebody's like oh you should talk to this person you know right. like like instantly so that's an interesting aspect uh um jams drywall you're all over the internet uh, but you haven't you haven't checked out drywall magazine yet or uh the mentors page you should definitely go on that one okay i've seen them seen them float around but i haven't been into them yet 
So Mudman Dan started the mentors page. He got mad because people were being so mean to the new people. So he started this like angel Max group. Man. <laughs> he started this angel group of like the drywall mentors, like all, all these men. You can come on. You can ask us how much to charge for stuff. It's okay. Like we'll help you out. Uh, so that's a pretty cool group. And they have a very strict policy about, uh, you know, offering advice and not being a jerk. And then uh, David Lee runs Drywall Magazine, you know. So uh, that's a decent that's a decent group as well. That's good. How many members is it? Is it? I don't know. That's a good question. I, I'm not sure. Um. So, uh, uh, Jason, you started your business. You weren't in business very long. How did you get your start? Did you have a, a mentor? Did you uh, work for somebody? So we started out when I was 18, obviously, right out of high school. We worked okay. for me and my dad worked for a remodel company, remodeling houses and everything. Now, this was back in like 2011. So the housing market was was taking off again from the 2008 crash. So a lot of, a lot of stuff going on and, uh, did that for like three years, learned how to do everything. And, uh, okay. But the one thing nobody wanted to do, there was like a 10 man crew. Nobody wanted to do drywall. Yeah. So they put, they put me on it. And I mean, I, I sucked at it. I didn't know anything about it. So like three years goes on and then I get better at it. People start hitting me up for side work and yeah, I start doing things on the side. And then next thing you know, like I just bought a magnet, put it on my truck and somebody Interesting. called me. Now, were you, were, were you hanging? Um, so when I did that, when I worked for that remodel company, we would do like a, a bedroom or patches and stuff yeah. like that. But uh, no, I did my first house on my own. Like I've never worked for a drywall Ooh. company. None ballsy. That That's ballsy, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, was, it was a long road, man. It took me like, it took me a good like. So then I started out on my own, but I That's was. Crazy. I would have never done everything. that. I mean, I you know I didn't you know I started out doing dry, doing drywall finishing, but I would have never jumped out like that that early on. Um, what was the name of the remodel company that you were working with? Uh, Rod Owens, R. L. Owens, just a local guy. Local guy, he was pretty cool, brought you up, taught you a bunch of stuff. Would you say that you gravitated towards the drywall or was it all about like just nobody wanted to do it? I see a niche here. I want to move in that direction because I think that I could maybe carve out a business for myself. I mean, were you having those types of thoughts? Special thanks to Jason Marshall of Jams Drywall for being with us on the drywall podcast today i really appreciate your time the drywall podcast can be listened to every friday on your favorite platforms such as podbean apple podcast spotify and also youtube we have a new guest every friday and they're drywallers and they're always awesome so thanks to Can-Am Tools for sponsoring the months of March and April on the Drywall Podcast. I really appreciate it. Can-Am Tools, industry-leading tools that help professionals around the world save time and money. Now, for the months of March and April, you have the opportunity to get your hands on these amazing tools at a discounted price. All you have to do is go to canamtools.com Enter promo code TDP15 and you will get a discount. Check out my interview with Wolfgang, episode 44 of the Drywall Podcast also. It's fantastic. He's fantastic. The Drywall Podcast is also brought to you by Fresco Harmony, making walls better since 2004. Now available at CSR in the store and online at csrbuilding.com. 
gmail.com. Special thanks to CSR also for ponying up a sweet swag bucket for guests of the Drywall Podcast. Thank you so much for listening today. I sincerely appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I did. Tune in next week when we will have Gary Holt from all the way down under in Australia with us. Until then, though, keep drywalling.